Yet what is it about? Small n and capital N are nearly equal. And uh, we begin with the difference between them. They are nearly equal. It means the difference between them is h, a very small quantity. Or it can be written small n is equal to n plus h. Where h is so small. h is so small that its square and higher powers can be neglected. This is the only question, dear students, where we have to simplify both left hand side and right hand side. So we begin with left hand side. What is it? It is n by 2 times n plus capital N whole power 1 by 2. So let us begin simplifying this. How will we do? n by 2 times n plus capital N, capital N, N has a value, N plus H. This is N by 2 times 2N plus H, power 1 by 2. What will we have next? It will be 4N plus 2H, N by 4N plus 2H power 1 by 2. We take this 4n common. If we take 4n common, it will be 1 by 2h by 4n. 1 by 2 power. This n is cancelled. It will be 1 by 2 is cancelled. 2 cancels 4 by 2. So it can be written 1 by h by 1 plus h by 2n power. N numerator it will be minus 1 by 2. Now we will expand it. It will definitely be 1 by 2. And this expansion of it will make what? Look at it, dear students. 1 plus nx. This is binomial series expansion. And see that it has infinite terms. We wrote only two terms. Rest of the terms are neglected. So we write h square and higher powers. h square and higher powers are neglected. So because of that neglection, this will be approximation sign here. This is equal to now we write final form 1 by 2 minus h by this 2, this 2, this 2 all together will make 8 and n in denominator. This is simplified form of left hand side. Now we begin solving right hand side. Let us look at it. This is the only question where we write. We simplify both left hand side and right hand side. It is 8n by 9n minus n plus minus n plus h n plus capital n divided by 4 n so after it we write in the beginning we just place the value of capital n small n plus h so we write n plus h here it will become n minus h minus n plus n plus h divided by 4 n and after it dear students as much as we can. This is 8n in denominator 8n minus h. Nothing is reduced. So no approximation sign exactly equal sign. This is equal to itself. Minus what is it? 2n plus h. 2n plus h divided by denominator is 4n. Now we write it 8n. 8n can be taken common from denominator. It will be 1 minus h by 8n minus 2n by 4n this minus sign here h by 4n this is cancelled we have 1 minus h by 8n power minus 1 minus these are cancelled it is 1 by 2 minus h by 4n and then we expand it also how is it expanded and again we will neglect so approximation sign here again 1 plus n x it will be dear students this is n, this is x. So 1 plus nx is the binomial series expansion. h by 4n. Then we write this equal to because we don't reduce and we have to write the reason why approximation sign. h square and higher powers are neglected. Because of that, it is approximation sign here. This is equal to 1 
plus h by 8n minus 1 by 2 minus h by 4n. So this is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 2. These two simplify. Look at it. 8n will be LCM. This will become minus 2h. This is it. h minus 2h will be minus h by LCM is 8n. So this is so we can see that left hand side, right hand side, both are simplified into the same form and hence is the solution. Hence we conclude that both left hand side, right hand sides are equal to one another. The conclusion is here. Hence this was left hand side n by 2 times n plus capital N. Its power 1 by 2 is approximately equal to 8n by 9n minus n minus n plus capital N by 4N proved. These two are approximately equal to one another. Why approximately equal? Because left hand side, this right hand side is simplified and we used approximation sign also here. So this right hand side given expression is approximately equal to this final expression. Similarly, left hand side given form is approximately equal to this. So both are approximately equal to same form. So approximately equal to one another also. So this is completed.